My name is Pascal Schmidt. I'm 25 years old. I was born in Germany. I come to Israel with my mom. When I was a child, I played all things, I think, with ball, basketball, football, tennis, ping pong. After the army, I, I find this, uh, this sport, the foot volley. I saw a five or six guys play on the beach. And I, and I look into him and I said, oh, what is this, what is this game with, with my ball, yeah? Um, and from this point, when I was 21 years old, uh, I finished the army and I started to work hard in this sport every day. My name is uh, Evelyn Dobinga, well in English Dobinga, in Dutch Dobinga, uh, and I'm 27 years old. Well, I do play wood volley, of course. I started it when I was uh, studying in Groningen, so that was my first study year, so that has been seven or eight years ago now. I came in contact with wood volley when um, me and my friend, we went on a holiday. Uh, we always were juggling with the ball on the beach, so, uh, and then People always joined us and when we went back to Groningen, we were like, oh, maybe there's something that we can do as a sport with uh, sand and a ball. And, and so we just started Googling and then uh, we found food volley in Groningen uh, and Erik Drent, we, we contacted him. He's kind of like the ambassador of food volley in, uh, in Groningen. We contacted him and then we, we just tried a couple of trainings. Uh, we were completely bruised everywhere, but then we were hooked and we, we just wanted to play it all the time. here in the center of Tel Aviv, 20 years, me and my mother. When I started, it's, it was like, I think, eight or ten players, good players that play professionally. And now, now we have three leagues in Israel and we have a lot of tournaments only for Israel and with the European that come here every, every year. And now we have, I think, 200 or 300 people that play football on the beach. That's incredible. My partner is Mao Haas. We won in this year in Corsica, the best team in Europe. Yeah, me and Mao are good friends. We know each other for a few years, 10 years, before football a little bit. Yeah, we are very different. On the court, Mao is so quiet and so, you know, all the, all the energy is here. <laughs> and my energy go out to everyone. Yeah, you need to play with all your body and of course it's difficult, very difficult. I think it's the most difficult maybe sport I ever seen, yeah. Of course the shark attack. I learned to make it before one year, one and a half, not so much time. I saw the Brazilian play with, with the leg on the net really. And I say, oh, that's, that's another level. So if I want to be one of the best in the world, I really need to do and to learn how to make it. So football is wonderful. I will go to the World to Tournaments and I meet all the European players and not from Europe, of course from Brazil, 
is you know something good uh, to to know other peoples and other way way foot volley life in Europe. It's so hard. It's not like in Israel and Brazil that you have the beach to train every day. We don't have the beach life here, so it, it, I wished it would be way more integrated in my life because I know that if I would have the opportunity, I would do it every day. Uh, because that's yeah, I rather go play foot volley with, of course, friends than I than I go to a bar, which I like to do afterwards. But not, yeah, I like to be active and social at the same time. And foot volley, I, I just can't get enough of it. There are several benefits of playing foot volley. Uh, I think there are several components. So of course, the physical component, you stay in shape uh, while well, you move, and especially when you sit at the desk the whole day, it's good to to move a little bit. Uh, but it's also good for your mental state because it's especially when you love the game so much it's if you play foot volley at least me like after a working day I forget that I even worked that day so uh, it's really nice to just get your mind of other things uh, and of course it's also great to have the show the social component so to meet other people and uh, yeah that's I think those three are really the, the three key things that I like about foot volley. When I know that it's a match, like when there's something at stake, I know first like my adrenaline goes through my whole body and I know that my leg is kind of shaky when I have to serve the ball. Uh, so I'm like, oh, okay, the first balls I have to, uh, to get everything through my body and then I become even better because then everything is in place and I'm more focused uh, when I have a game. Uh, also when I know there's audience, there's more pressure. And once I have the pressure under control, then I become better. It's, it's integrated in my life also because my boyfriend plays foot volley, so it's uh, it's really a shared passion that we have. So on on holidays we just play foot volley all the time. Like the tournaments we go there together, the training we go there together. So it's really something that that is integrated within our relationship as well. In the beginning I could still beat him, uh, which I was still very proud of. But now, uh, yeah, he he became a lot better. So now we uh, we just play for fun if if it's possible. tournament in Groningen, very, very good, very, very pressure, very excited every time I come to it. Last year I would come the first time and I won the tournament. I really accept in this year to make it through. They play like a, really like a man, level. Yeah. She look that play very well. I think they she will get the title again this year. I think so. Feeling bad a little bit, but we come on, we come up, and uh, we learn in every tournament about uh, about Holland and in, in Groningen. Really like the place. I will come here next year, maybe to get another time the title. 
Like it confirms your practicing, your expectations, the way you think about yourself, basically like what you think you can do. So it's, it's always very nice to, to win a tournament because that confirms, okay, this is my level and, and I can, can do it. It feels really good. like one of a kind. It's the only indoor tournament in the world, I think. Um, so everyone loves it. It's the new year, beginning of the new year, beginning of the food folly season. I always see my friends here, my, yeah, everyone that I know is here usually. My parents are coming and watch, my brother, my friends. So I especially like it to be home kind of here.